Hey Blenderbub here, I made a spreadsheet for Blender, but there's already one you're gonna say, haha, <laughs> not like this one, check it out. So yeah, Blender already has a spreadsheet, and what it allows you to do is to see the information on the vertices, the edges, and the faces. And that even if you are in object mode. And if you select more than one object, it's only gonna show you one of them. Let me select another object here so we can see more information. So you see all the vertices here, but there's nothing you can do with them. You cannot modify them, you cannot change them. It's just showing you the information. And if you're in edge mode, then you will see the ones that have sharp edges, but you cannot modify them. You cannot click on it to turn them on or off. Although the UI is cool, I thought it was kind of limited. So you know me, I made my own spreadsheet. And it works in object mode too, so if you select objects, you can see all the coordinates, you can modify them directly in the spreadsheet. If you click on this, it's gonna isolate this object, so you can select only this one here. Uh, you can also apply the uh, location, rotation, and scales. So if I click on the button, you will see that everything has been applied. And if I undo this, you can see that there's an option that says active only. So it's going to do it only on the ones that are activated. So if I apply location, only these two have been modified. Now, if I go in edit mode and I select vertices, you will see the list of all the vertices. You can also select just one of them if you want to and you can move them directly from the spreadsheet. And you also have the option to see them in world space, so you can see where they are exactly in space, but you cannot modify them because that would be absolutely crazy to calculate. It's obvious if you look at it at the plane, so you see all the coordinates are minus one and one everywhere, but if you look at it in world space, because the plane is not at the origin, then we can see exactly where the vertices are. By the way, in my spreadsheet, if you select more than one object and you go into edit mode, you will see the list for all the objects. If I'm in edge mode, then you will see, of course, all the edges that are selected. You cannot change the sharpness of the edges in Blender's uh, spreadsheet, but you can do it on mine, so you can just click them on and off. Also, if you go into face mode, then you can select all your faces, and you will see the list of all the faces. And if you want to select uh, polygon number 24, you click on it, and now it's selected. And since I was in a good mood, I decided to add support for bones. Now it's a little bit messy on the interface because some are quaternion and others are Euler, 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 call it whatever you want. But uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do about this. So I, I would need to, no, I, I just cannot fix this. Anyways, when you're in uh, pose mode, instead of applying the transforms, you clear them. So if I click here, I will clear all the uh, locations and clear all the rotations and clear all the scales. And again, you can do it only on the active ones if you want to. In every mode, you have the option to turn off the spreadsheet so it doesn't slow you down if you have very heavy geometry, especially uh, useful for uh, vertices, because if you have a very heavy model, it's gonna slow you down. The Blender spreadsheet is very fast because they do it in C++ and these guys are pros, while I'm a moron who does stuff in ChatGPT and the code is crap. I just hope that the Blender Foundation will see this and think, hey, that's a pretty good idea, let's put it in Blender. That would be awesome. Hey, tell me in the comments. As always, like all my add-ons, it's free. The link is in the description.